Yeah. Dear Chums. <laughs> some bad news to deliver. As you may have noticed, Rachel and Paul are missing today. They started dating. <gasps> How did this happen? He helped her carry that love seat home from the swap meet last week. Just like that? I didn't even get to say goodbye. Fuck. I'm so sorry. They're gone. That explains why Paul never answered my tacos text. They'll never sign on to Steam again. Just last Friday, I wasn't feeling too good, you know? I had a UTI! So Rachel, beautiful Rachel, came over and she helped me make s'mores in my oven. But I was feeling kind of pissy, you know? The UTI! <laughs> so we just ended up arguing over our alma maters. And now, my last memory of her as a single woman is going to be her beautiful, angelic face screaming at me. Hook a horse! <laughs> Can't get back. I know how you feel. I mean, I didn't realize that the last movie we were going to see together was going to be Batman versus Superman. Oh, it sucks. I would have made it count on it. Paul was the only one who showed up at my Halloween party when it was raining ice buckets. No more Manny Petties with Rachel. It's more like a lonely friendies. Look, I'm not good with words, okay, guys? Are you sure, Natalia? Are they really boyfriend and girlfriend, or is it just some Facebook malarkey? I found out last night when Rachel texted me. We aren't going to make it tomorrow. <sighs> Love you bunches. See you soon. <sighs> we? Soon? That's rough. It's time to say goodbye. I wasn't ready for this. But I have this receipt from when Paul walked me to 7-Eleven. Rice chips and a Diet Coke. Goodbye, you basic bitch! I'll never forget what a great girlfriend you were, Rachel. You can have my Orca Charm bracelet. I know how much you loved my Orca Charm bracelet. Oh boy, this day came too soon. I'll say see you later though. So. See you later. Let's have a moment of silence. Hey, we were just over at Two Boots. Thought we'd stop by. Oh God, why? Oh my God, I'm so sorry. No, you said if you needed help with anything. Oh Jesus, I totally misread that. Get oh God. dick out of my office right now. Okay, yeah, you got it, you got it. You got it. I mean, for future reference, if someone asks you what your pet peeves are, maybe you should, yeah. You know, I'll, I'll just get out of here. Men are pigs. I feel like there's a lot of pressure on the guy to send the first message and uh, uh, make it perfect. I keep getting asked if I would like to fuck a 50 year old with my feet. My feet, my bare feet. Well, a lot of messages I send don't even get replies.